Hi, my name is Rona Khan and I am a co-founder of Miller Bay Organics. Um, we have organic coffee, Arabica, from the highlands of Millen Bay. Yes, not many people know that Millen Bay is known for its coffee, but it is being introduced into the market. Um, we also produce virgin coconut oil as well as cooking oils, pure organic cooking oils. And we do byproducts of that as well. So coconut um, virgin oil infused with the coffee to make body scrubs and facial scrubs as well as um, herbs infused as well like neem and moringa. And we also have fragrance oils as well as part of our base products. But our whole journey has been, um, we are a community based company. We train our rural communities far and wide. Um, as far as we have been able to trek on our feet, we have trained our local villagers, women, um, young men and women, elderly, middle-aged, whoever is willing to learn, we have gone out to um, train, impart as much knowledge as we can on downstreaming and value adding and understanding the value of their resources, their natural resources that they have at their fingertips, and also to encourage um, financial independence, self-sustainability through their resource. Our business model, we train our rural communities and we buy back the produce once that it has been value added. Um, so it is not just us going in and, and talking about what it's worth, we actually buy back so there is tangible outcomes from our training as well. And hopefully that encourages entrepreneurial activity with our young people especially. Um, we use a lot of young people, we train young people who then become our trainers in the rural communities as well. So our business does not grow unless our local um, communities, our rural communities, our villages are also growing um, with the organization as well. They have to supply us in order to grow. Um, we don't actually produce anything in-house at this point. We simply buy value-added produce from our rural communities and we turn it into a packaged product that we see here today. In a nutshell. <laughs> No, I'm uh, interested in uh, yeah, Milan Bay coffee. Yeah? I mean, yes. Could you tell us a bit more about that? So this is, um, we have many different varieties, uh, not many, sorry. We have both Arabica and Robusta in Milan Bay. This particular coffee is from Daga, the highlands of Milan Bay. It's about 5,700 feet above sea level. Um, it has been tested in the past. It has rated in the gourmet range um, at its best. However, Infrastructure and access to roads, etc., can affect um, the quality. So those are things that we're contending with right now. However, it is um, definitely a contender on the world coffee market. <laughs> so where do you buy it from again? From a gown. Um, there are several different locations around Milan Bay that actually produce. So the best Arabica that we get is from a gown, um, Daga LLG, as well as uh, Wanama Boya Boya in the Rubber Rubber um, LLG. So they're the highlands, the mountain areas of Milan Bay. There is also coffee robusta in Esala district in the coastal areas, good enough, and Suao as well. So there's coffee scattered all around, um, but not many people have had access to markets. So that's why we thought, let's create an organization that is going to actually take money to the people and encourage them to um, use their agriculture and take away that urban drift mentality. Instead of urban drifting to earn revenue, let's go back to our, our roots back home and our land and toil the soil and um, make revenue from there and be independent on our own. And uh, your other products? So we have the coconut cooking oil. This is um, pure coconut cooking oil. It's just heated down. Um, the bottling is actually wrapped in the coconut husk rope. So this rope was actually, um, we trained the local women in the community. Um, so there was a nice church community up in Huhuna and Taupota, uh, an area in Milan Bay that produced these and we buy them back and we use it for our packaging and branding. But this is our cooking oils, and we've also got your virgin coconut oils, your pure virgin coconut oils as well. It's a little bit cold in here, but that's how you know it's good when it goes hard. <laughs> There's no preservatives in it at all. 
and that's another thing that we want to encourage in our rural communities is not to get um, too excited in the commercial space because it does encourage chemical fertilizers, etc. We want to show um, the world is looking for organic and pure. Um, they're moving away from your processed foods. We in the Pacific Islands naturally do that already. Um, so we want to educate them to preserve that um, and to value our organic produce.